Okay, guys. I want to talk about uh, religion and science. And I want to put this in a type of perspective. Okay. Uh, religion was basically, I guess you could say, our first attempt to, of psychology, astrology, mathematics, whatever, you know. And in truth, science is our second attempt. Okay. Uh, now, uh... How, how, how can I say this more clearly? Um, that might sound insulting to science because, uh, well, we're just scratching the surface. But there's a huge difference between the first attempt and the second attempt. If you want to put it on this level of just viewing the universe on some type of just natural state of being or whatever. Uh... Now, to justify, to separate themselves more from the religion, they'd have to say, no, no, science is more like on its, like, fourth or fifth attempt. To, to, do you see what I'm saying? Because uh, to, to uh, separate the ideas, because it sounds insulting while well, we're, we're the second attempt. Look at it, look at it like this, uh, from different perspectives. Um, and there'll be a, a sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and a hundredth attempt, you know. And it, when we look back, like, 10,000 years from now, we'll be like, well, religion was basically the same as science, which is true from that perspective. Well, how do you find a, a, a better balance? Well, look at it like this. Like, today, it's like, let's say I borrow a dollar or two or whatever, but I end up paying you back a dollar. Well, because of our amount's wealth, like in the future, 10,000 years, we might look back, like, say, that's 10,000th attempt. Let's say that we own $10,000. We might look back and say, well, that was just a uh, uh, dollar less. Who cares? But let us look on the, on how we should view it as we are now, which is today. Because you got to take things as they are right now. And even though what I'm saying about 10,000 years in the future, or even a million, is actually true, take, you got to take it more as it is now. Let's look at it more like this. Well, giving up one dollar. Okay, let's do a hundred thousand dollars compared to two hundred thousand dollars. Do you see what I'm saying? It's still the marker of a hundred thousand and two hundred thousand. Well, let's just rise it even more. Let's say a billion dollars to two billion dollars. I borrowed two billion dollars, but I say to you, no, I only owe you back a billion. Well, you go to prison for life for 20 years. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but if you owe, own like trillions upon zillions of dollars, you might look back and be like, oh, who cares? It's just a, a billion. You see what I'm saying? Uh, hold on one second. So anyways, uh, but we got to take things as they are now. But uh, there are many important things, uh, uh, parallels, like like when we look back and, and, and we try to find about our ancestry, we find all these, um, um, what are they called? Um, we look for patterns, and then there's patterns that are older than other patterns, but you got to line up the older patterns to see our past. That's why this whole woke thing is coming up, because it has formulated... We See, back probably 7,000 years ago, we went through the same topic of woke, a certain identity, uh, just in a different way. Uh, like uh, today, like back then, the Tower of Babel... That, there was a time where the language was being developed and you and you see certain legends like like the Noah's Flood and all these stories. Well, there's a huge truth to those stories, especially like the Babel, when they were developing the language. Uh, and that has taken place, and we're entering to a new type of Babel. But it, it's, it's like a phase two. But even before that, there was a previously... Our construct of what was Babel before that, and we just rotate. And and yes, it's true. Woke and all that LGBTQ is ridiculous. Yes, because they're going way against the grain uh, uh, of the Y chromosome. And yes, there is a sense of fluid, but you can't buy lateral stuff just because it's right now. You got to take things. And and society is changing so much. I mean, we got to slow down. It's like this. We know that there might be God, or, or because of, even if you take the bare minimum, it's the argument that never goes away. That like maybe there's a clockwork God, you know, the clockwork, and He just stepped back. But you can't bilateral and say, okay, this is now the new concept. Let's make rules because what happens is you would have religion, but that would be the first step. But that's 
has to take place. It has to like take place. In fact, in fact, we just went to a science, and we didn't have these uh, uh, valuable. There's a lot of value uh, in uh, religion, especially the more peaceful and, and passive kind, not the the more aggressive. But anyways, but if uh, if we just entered into a science based society and we never had a religion I'd be very suspect on how do we do that you you couldn't bilateral something and and, and and you need the first to do the second so you can see on the second say hey let's not repeat certain things in the past like if we jumped past science and we went to the fourth or fifth how could we have done that and then we make laws well let's just make laws if we went from like the first step religion to like the seventh step that might be true that could be the woke, the, the fluid, but it's too much of a jump and society is changing too much. So you can't create these laws until certain properties are set down. And even if even if certain things you can uh, grasp, um, you're, you're going to have huge backlash. And, and it, it's, it's a mistake on the LGBTQ. The only upside really is the fact that we can see these things coming. So it's almost like just don't put them in the legislation, just invite them all now. Invite all the crazy stuff. Can you have sex with the animals, the law, whatever. Because if you kind of purposely set these forward without creating a law about them, how to how to impel speech, uh, it will have a, a, a backlash. And that'll be okay. Uh, uh, if you kind of get what I'm well, I'm saying as long as far as long as it doesn't go too far, and then and then the next step will be, and then it's all just going to swing around, and it's going to come really quick. It's going to come really hard and quick, and that's and that's a hard thing because as more as you get down the bottleneck, it repeats itself quicker. Uh, and and we're here on the planet, you know, and we could destroy ourselves now. We're getting down the bottleneck, and with AI coming up. And this parallels also with like a teaching, I know I'm going a little off road here, but there is a teaching within the church how Israel was like with the Lord and then they fell away and then they came back and they fell away. But each time they kept going a little bit farther and it's, and it's kind of like that, but we're getting down to a point where we, we, we got to get off this planet and we have to get along. So, uh, I mean, there are some things that are f fluid, but it, it, you can't, it's unhealthy to double step these things. In fact, fluid, uh, this thing is actually like triple stepping because what it is, is taking and it's reconstructing the definition of reality. And that is a huge mistake. It even goes past the joke of, you know, when uh, Bill Maher said, you know, there's other options out there besides just hand me the dick saw, you know. I mean, that's that's actually true. But, but when you actually uh, bend the mind or redefine it, you know, I can, that, that creates category. Uh, and then you can just, well, anyways, you guys get it. Okay, thanks, guys.